Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about some of my spring favorites. So basically I used to make favorites videos all the time, monthly I used to make them, so I stopped doing them for a while just because they weren't really doing that well anymore and I just thought like nobody really cares so pass. I thought I'd do like seasonal favorites just for you guys to uh, know about my like tv show, movie, and my music favorites because I used to have a series on this channel where I just talked about music and a lot of you guys like my taste in music and have similar taste which is awesome and you guys like my intro and stuff so I thought we would talk about that a little bit as well. So first off starting with tv shows I have RuPaul's Drag Race which this if you do not know it's a show a bunch about um drag queens who compete for the crown it's very good very fun very intense makeup if you don't know what drag is and i love this show so much but i watched the most recent season that they have on netflix which i believe is season nine and i just really enjoyed it i always binge rupaul's drag race when they put a new season up so yes and i'm so happy with who won season 10 i'm not 10 yeah 10 I'm so happy with who won season 10 because I did I didn't watch the entirety of season 10 but I do know who won and I did see like clips of everybody's outfits and all that but not the point um RuPaul's Drag Race is a really great show if you haven't seen it next is Bojack Horseman okay this show I wouldn't like recommend like a hundred percent like please watch it but it's just like I've seen almost every car adult cartoon now like that I can think of and I'm just like trying to find more so I've been watching Bojack Horseman it is like addictive like they have like good components in like they have a good sh little story like they have good plots like good little storylines throughout the series so far but like it's not like overall phenomenal right now for me at least I think I'm like season two or season three it's not phenomenal but it's like decent <laughs> like it's enjoyable but like I wouldn't go out of my way to recommend it but like then again there is some episodes that I really love so it's like with that I have Brooklyn Nine-Nine which I have been re-watching I am almost done my re-watch I am re-watching it right now and oh my god I love this show so much guys and if you don't know cop show very funny like I I don't watch comedies because they don't make me laugh unless they're like so bad that they make me laugh but like Brooklyn Nine-Nine honestly kills me and whenever I'm in a bad mood I'll watch like clips from the show which is like every day so uh, <laughs> I love it I also follow like Brooklyn Nine-Nine accounts on Twitter and like I always retweet stuff from them so if you've if you follow me on Twitter, Twitter you've probably seen like Brooklyn Nine-Nine stuff pop all, all over your feed but it's such a good show so funny such a diverse cast as well so I'd highly recommend that. We have Love, Simon that came out this spring. Um, I really enjoyed Love, Simon so did a lot of other people. I saw it twice if you don't know it's about a boy named Simon who is forced to come out as gay when he is blackmailed by another dude and it's his story and his relationship with someone he met online that is anonymous so yeah that's what that's about. It's It was really adorable. I really enjoyed it. Um, don't look up. I, I think it won an award for like best kiss but then you see who like you get spoiled for the film because you see who he's kissing anyways great movie loved it adorable yes next up i have brain on fire which if you guys don't know this is one of my favorite books i read it back in 2015 i believe or 2016 and it was my favorite book of that year it's a non-fiction book about a girl who is experiencing psychosis like symptoms um hallucinations delusions but then there's also things like seizures and hot flashes and there's mood swings there's a lot of things happening to her and the doctors can't figure out what it is so that it's about like her journey and her in a hospital too as well obviously what kind of goes but the film obviously based on the book it's on netflix it was so good i really enjoyed it i thought chloe grace moretz did actually a really great job of playing the character and yeah it was a good film i would highly recommend it if you're at all into psychology or at all into like medical the medical field definitely check it out except for music favorites i'm not gonna be talking too much about music favorites just in this video because i kind of want your opinion like do you guys want to hear like how would you like me to incorporate these would you like me to like list songs would you like me to make a separate playlist every season or would you like me to like name the titles the albums put the album covers up or whatever i'm not exactly sure because i think i've done almost every way before and i don't really know what you guys would prefer on that and like on that front so 
do let me know down below but I am actually now linking my Spotify down below so you can follow me on there and I have playlists up there my playlist that is very updated all the time is dark royalty it's like 24 hours long it's full of metalcore music and then my night playlist is full of like rock acoustics and like softer songs so if you're interested in that check that out it's still linked down below finally I thought I'd talk about some like little random favorites so Back a few months ago I went to a Motionless and White concert so I thought I would mention that. It was incredible. It was all mosh pit. I love that band so much. They did such a great job. I'm seeing them again soon for Warp Tour so I'm super excited to see them again. Next is really random. It's Date Squares. I don't know. Well like if you've never had a Date Square you need to. Made out of dates obviously which dates are like really sweet and they kind of taste a little chocolatey to me no one really agrees with me on that that i talked to but it does taste kind of chocolatey to me and there's like graham cracker oh it's so good i'll put a picture of it up but it's so good it's like my obsession there's this one restaurant i go to and no matter how big or small my meal is i always get a date square to go because i'm obsessed with their date squares <laughs> here i have script or i i used to call it scribed but it's script um this is an app i'm I'm not sponsored by them, unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, Script can hit me up, because they did hit me up a while back and I, kinda, I didn't respond, so go me. Um, <laughs> anyways, audiobook and ebook app. There's also like magazines and other stuff on there as well, but you pay like $8.99 a month and you get unlimited audiobooks and ebooks and it's so inexpensive and it's so worth it because it's so updated like i had overdrive where it updated like i could take out ebooks and audiobooks from my library like temporarily for like eight days whatever but even then they don't have that many new releases and you have to wait for certain titles like with script it's all like available and they always have like recent titles up like books that just came out like a week or two ago are up there and it's like amazing like I'm obsessed with script I've been listening to audiobooks on there a lot people do have like affiliate codes so you can get a free trial so like a few of my like favorite booktubers who have affiliate codes I'll link those down below for you guys so you can use them and support their channels I went to an HCC frenzy event I talked about this a while back but that was really cool not gonna talk about it too much I've talked about it before but it was awesome and I like totally appreciated being invited and going and last but not least is BookCon 2018. I made a whole vlog about this. I worked so hard on that vlog. It's probably one of my favorite videos I've done. But I had such a good time in New York City and I'm so glad that I went. And even though it wasn't like BookCon wasn't the best place for ARCs, that was like, that's more Book Expo. Um, it was still like an amazing experience. I got to hang out with some friends. I got to like look around New York and like I've only been out of the States once. And that's just to like, that's just like outside the Niagara border. So like barely. What well, technically yes but like I didn't really look around I was just there to for a mall but like I finally went to the states and it was really interesting and <laughs> I was obsessed with Dunkin Donuts like every day I'd get this like lemonade thing this iced tea lemonade every day and then mmm the hash browns were delicious too anyways those are my favorites let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and some of your favorites from the past little bit let me know if you like this video and if you'd like me to do a, another one of these like a summer favorites at the end of summer if you'd like me to do that um i would love to and yes i will see you all super soon with a new video